Okay, hello, hello. Hi. Hold on. Oh. There we go. Morella, more like mozzarella. Um, hi, we're doing a uh, an undermine. This is me, a bird friend. Uh, our 69 thorium. Probably gave myself some sort of level up or extra item, but I didn't check. I didn't. Well, that was stupid. Uh, I probably should have used some of my thorium to give myself a little a little leg or foot all the way uh, up. We're not going to the fast travel dude, because I don't remember much about what dude. Oh my god, I gotta get my eyes right. You, 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 you know how... Ooh. How with each game, each and every game that's ever existed, there's a little bit of uh, remembering its visual language. Well, right now, I'm having a hard time remembering this game's visual language. I've been playing a lot of uh, other games. Not like, well, not a lot. Not a lot like most other people in this freaking quarantine pandemic situation. Um, are playing a lot of video games, but a lot for me. Uh, I played through the entirety of uh, Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4. Marvel Spider-Man, I should say. It's not just called Spider-Man. That's probably a different game for the PlayStation 4. Um, I played through that entire game. Uh, I got as close to 100% as I could without uh, the bullshit. Ooh. The bullshit uh, ruining a few trophies for me. Uh, there's no, there's no redoing some challenges, so you can't. If you don't know exactly how to spend a certain, uh, certain in-game currency, you can't get uh, all the suits, all the Spider-Man-style spider suits. Good, um, and that means that there'll be one or two. Uh, achievements you can't get. And those one or two achievements you can't get will kind of haunt you when you're playing that game because it's it's not like... like basically anytime a new submission or quest or uh, anything like that popped up I think this is like makes my bomb an X. I didn't look at it. Yeah. Um, an X or a... a for us, a plus. Um, but anyway, uh, we got very, very close to 100% in Spider-Man, but I did not get 100% because of something that I uh, have to have known when I started the game to look out for. So, you know, that's that's extremely frustrating. If I knew to look out for it, it would have been an issue, but... I don't want the don't fall in holes. But, um, you know, it would be it would be my second playthrough. And it's it actually um, is not the case, like in some games where they, they do that with the expectation that you'll kind of play a second playthrough to get all the achievements. Because they... Graciously, and I do believe this is uh, a gracious and well thought out and considerate thing. They, uh, oh, well, let's do this right here too. Um, they do. <laughs> this guy, these guys are the best. Um, they do have, they leave New Game Plus achievements on a separate achievement page. So if you want to get all of the regular games, oh, this has a curse, right? I'll do it. Uh, if you want to get the regular games, regular 100% the platinum, then uh, this is curse I basically, but worse. If you want to get the regular game's regular uh, platinum trophy, what is this? 
That is not worth two more curses. I'm not good enough at this game to keep stacking on curses. Um, but, uh, you know, you actually get to complete the game without starting it over. It's not... Oh, it's okay, it doesn't teleport me out of the room. That's actually totally fine. I, I mean, it's not great. Because it's probably going to chain me into a series of continual damage at some point. But, uh, you can play Spider-Man through, get 100% of the regular achievements, and then there's a New Game Plus series of achievements that you can also get. That's totally worth it. Um, and I love that. There's also a separate page for DLC achievements, which I think is amazing. Throw a bomb on those those spikes. I don't know if bombs destroy spikes, but doesn't seem like it. I am gonna buy a little bit of food. Now that I've seen just how insanely badly I'm doing. Yeah, uh, Spider-Man, Marvel Spider-Man was great. I started playing God of War after that because I already had the PlayStation set up, uh, and I was like, I don't like God of War. The, the, I find myself getting hit, uh, from blind spots way too often, uh, and I also found myself not enjoying the, uh, the closeness of the camera to such a degree that it actually bothered me. Uh, more than it should. And I, I, I know that a single hang-up like that is not enough. I, I, I started God of War before and I got farther in it than I, uh, than I made it this time. Um, but I also stopped then. Um, for different reasons. I think the other reason was I just started playing something else. But now, recently, ooh, that's how we get it, okay. We gotta get this guy to throw these bombs at us. Hey. Hey, Ogre. Ah, oh, he's stuck. Okay, well. There we go. Where are you trying to go, dude? Man, what a chump. <laughs> um. What the fuck is this? on five bombs. We don't need anything yet. We can check again at the end of the floor. Gotta keep that in mind. Uh, but, you know, I, I think that I'm probably wrong about God of War. Because there are moments when I'm playing it where it feels so good uh, that I want to keep going. And I know that myself, with new games, I tend to... I tend to have a uh, kind of a slow learning curve. Okay, so that probably puts it back to normal or thereabout. Um, I probably have a slower learning curve for new game controls and stuff than the average person. Uh, and that's okay. Like, one of the other games I started playing after that uh, is I have Xbox Game Pass, and one of the games on Xbox Game Pass for PC is uh, Sunset Overdrive, another Insomniac game. Uh, another open world Insomniac, silly boy style game. Uh, <laughs> and what I mean by silly boy style game is. A game in which you play uh, as kind of a goofball superhero, one that's specific focus is traversal. Um, I think Insomniac also does Ratchet and Clank, um, so they're used to making movement feel fun, they're used to um, silly weapons. I don't know if that was worth it. So we basically have Damage up, damage down, uh, damage down, damage up. So we're probably just at 
uh, starting damage for both. That swing size increase is huge, though. Seems to like, this still this seems to be pretty uh, decent damage. Yeah. Anyway, um, so after that, my friend Moses, who many of you know, is this, uh, suggested I try Robo Quest, which is a roguelite with Doom-inspired movement, according to him. Uh, I don't think it's quite Doomish. I think uh, the Doom moniker is maybe a little bit too freely applied to games that have like just good first-person movement. But it definitely is. Uh, it definitely is fun. And I um, it's early access, which I've kind of been a little bit more lenient recently about like. Uh, or, you know, less concerned, less worried, less reserved about partaking in early access games. Which I think is good. Whoa. Oh yeah, just help me. Uh, because I think that that's pretty stupid, and some of the early access games, some of the ones that I've had, I've played and really enjoyed. Not a lot of them. Uh, Hades is one that I played and really enjoyed, but it didn't have the... It literally just had its release. And, um... I don't, like, I don't care. That is released. Uh, I didn't play version 1.0, which I guess means you can... In version 1.0, you can finally actually beat the game. I suppose. I don't know. I haven't played it. Uh, Dead Cells, same thing. Played that early access, got really tired of how much it uh, changed every time I played it. Uh, never played 1.0, and actually um, heard that the changes kept going after 1.0 was released, where you just could not get a handle on the game. You know, it became a new game uh, every time you took part. Which to me is mostly a bummer. Uh, because unless you play it really quickly, it feels like you're always going to be uh, starting from scratch. That's the one I wanted. Okay, cool. You're always going to be, to some degree, learning the game instead of. Uh, and I, I, I can hear. The counter argument, well, shouldn't you always be learning? Shouldn't you always be improving? And that's not what I mean. I mean, it's always going to feel like you're kind of behind. Um, I should have bought another key on the first floor. Prices go up. And that's not just the big updates you get with dungeon or things like that but then you know i played uh gunfire reborn and freaking adore it and i can't wait for that game to keep changing Ooh, that's weird that's a lot of fucking extra damage taken good lord thanks buddy Mm -mm -mm. So far, it has not led me into an immediate. Hey, cool! An immediate extra source of uh, damage that teleport. Not to say it won't, but at least it, as of yet, has not. But after playing Spider-Man, one of the things I realized, and it, it, it's not something I realized for the first time after playing Spider-Man, it's something I was able to redouble my uh, commitment to believing that uh, is that uh, movement is is everything. Uh, if if you start making if you start building a game and the first thing you do is not making traversal fun, 
whatever traversal means because I use the example of uh, Slay the Spire. I haven't played a lot of Slay the Spire, but I watch it. And one of the things that's amazing about Slay the Spire is um, that it feels weighty. It feels like the player's inputs immediately and fully relate to something directly enjoyable. Um, and that is of utmost importance. That's why Spider-Man uh, felt great, even when it didn't kind of feel immediately great right away. It felt great. Um, it felt like I knew it was going to get greater because sometimes the combat was a problem. Sometimes the uh, like the first couple of fights, you just get your ass kicked and it feels stupid. Um, like. If you don't already know the, the buttons, it, it feels like the uh, the combat's kind of uh, withholding, and to be honest, it kind of is. What is this, an item? I don't know what that means. I maybe gain more, I gain health by going into rooms or something, or going down floors. Yeah, each new room is health. Um, but as soon as you get to swing around the city in Spider-Man, the first time it happened, uh, and every subsequent time until you turn the game off after doing 100% of the content in the game, it feels incredible. So two boss curse. This is first bullets right here. Wow. Well, we're not gonna do any of it though. We're still we're still little babies. Hmm. Six that time. Don't get in any water. Man, this room sucks. Oh, I can actually just do this, though. And that is significant and important. Right, now we need to get a key through any meands necessary. Uh, so, RoboQuest, Spider-Man, God of War. Um, I played this demo, a demo for this game called Ghost Runner, which I 100% know is a game that I'm playing because I am still I'm just frothing and foaming and freaking out at the mouth about uh at uh at the idea of cyberpunk I've been uh I've been listening to cyberpunk audiobooks to because I'm so excited about the game cyberpunk 2077 uh like I listened to uh Mona Lisa Overdrive which is the sequel to Neuromancer, which is an amazing book that I read a few years back. Um, uh, and, ooh, I haven't gotten a help drop in a while. Um, William Gibson, Neuromancer is incredible. It's a book that makes you feel uh, like, you're, like you're a fucking idiot because you hadn't read it once you have read it. Uh, it really makes you feel like a, a an absolute dumb piece of shit uh, forever having existed, having not read that book. And I mean it. Like, it, it's just, it's so, it's got the aesthetic down. And Mona Lisa Overdrive is also extremely good uh, for very similar reasons. The, aesthetic, the, the aesthetic, the sense of... Um, of style and flow and you know it's a noir book so it's basically uh, it's like a pulp noir detective book about hackers in a 
pre-internet internet, internet uh, and internet before we learned that the internet was just going to kind of be a boring bulletin board where everybody believes anything that they choose to believe. Um, when people thought that the, the internet would be a second life, when they thought it would be uh, unimaginably complex, I should be using bombs. And they thought it would just grow and grow in richness and uh, it would simulate... Uh, it would create a, a desirable existence outside of uh, normal life. That it would somehow somehow be better than day-to-day -day life. Oh man, I didn't check that. What? Damn. And you know, there's still some stuff, there's some stuff about the internet that's still impressive. Uh, virtual reality is still a massive disappointment. Uh, apparently, Moses has put up uh, his, his Vive and has played through Half-Life Alex, and it's like, it's all the, uh, Maybe you could ever want to fill your pants with. Um, but even still, it's not... It's not Ready Player One. It's not Tron. It's not any of those things that we expected this stuff would be by the year 2020. Instead of 2020, it's just a, it's a cesspool of misinformation. And, um, uh... You know, it's a place to popularize bigotry, to, to allow people to feel comfortable with their uh, most despicable thoughts, justified in their hatred. Uh, it is an echo chamber. But what the feeling that I'm getting, at least, from uh, Cyberpunk 2077, uh, is a lot closer to Ghost in the Shell and Neuromancer than boring old uh, Dirt World. I hate these guys. I hate the way their uh, their shit moves. Hmm, I'm sorry, man. Temporarily reveal secret rooms. Well, that's great. I like these rooms with uh, nothing in them. So, this is where we go to die. Uh, we have not made it past a few rooms in this floor yet, so I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to clear the money stuff first because money is our long-term currency. And then I'm going to drink this potion that I've been sitting on. Hmm. That was cool. I like having this. Save us some... Uh, health and a key. And it got us... Well, I guess it just saved us health and a key because I would have used both of them. It is kind of disappointing to uh, have, have that potion. Already. You dirty rat. Good lord. kind of horror are you? It's a splitter. It's a blobby one. I have to hit guys with the ranged to decrease their... I haven't used any bombs. Oops, there's something. Oh no, we're not doing fight. Fight is fear. So I'm probably going to stop for the most part, talking about other stuff uh, while this is going on, this uh, difficult portion of the game is going on. 
which is the remainder of the game. I just took 150 fucking damage from my own fucking bomb. curse we're gonna die soon so yeah we're gonna take fucking curse all right what's our thing what's our curse though slip and slide shit HP over time is really good. It's uh, not going to be quite as useful as it would have been uh, a floor ago. And nothing is going to be as useful as it was previously. Uh, forever. Why are these guys stealing my health? The thing that sucks about getting harder enemies Things that hit harder and have uh, more active attack patterns is I don't get to learn them. Do I want to try to get another item or another? What is this? Temporarily re reveal secret rooms. That's to get to the end early, okay. Just some health. Is it only really 150? That's not bad at all. Do those two. We'll do this. We'll go to the next room. We'll see if it takes us... It allows us to get a little bit farther and maybe recoup some of the losses. But basically all the games I've been playing, I like this one, um, have been stand-ins. Ghost Runner, the one that I started talking about and then just started talking about Cyberpunk, is a uh, first-person parkour uh, cyber ninja cyberpunk experience. Uh, it's got the aesthetic pretty much down. Um, oh my god, these guys are so scary. Uh, it's got the cyberpunk aesthetic pretty much down as far as I can uh, if, can say. I don't, I don't know everything about cyberpunk, but I... Where am I? God, the poison. Um, <laughs> I totally forgot about the teleporter, but there are still... Okay, so you don't have to kill the spider webs. Huh. That's all on you. Cool. This is a blow it up, get a curse thing. And usually some benefits, of course. Um, what the fuck is this? What curse did we get? Because this one's been evened out. Deal us third damage. That's fine. Don't like this. <laughs> but what? That's why it says unique. Call darn it. Man, dang it. 
The self hurt is bad. Okay, so you can just kind of walk around those guys at times. The wolf, dead. Whoa, did they just change on their own? I really, really like that it shows uh, what the second, or that they're going to split when they're in the air. Dang, bombs galore. We'll use our one key to go in here. Get six HP and some beef. Ghost Runner looks really good, and I played through uh, the demo multiple times. What is this fucking thing, dude? What are you, what are you using on the next room? That was it. Huh. We should have used it on the next room instead of on the current room. Who set me on fire? Oh. Wait, no, yeah. Who set me on fire? Well, had I not, uh... Had I not bought that food, I would be dead now, so... I didn't, I didn't know that this game would have immediate action potions. Immediate single kind of attack potions. Oh lord, these have been breakable objects all this time. This sucks to learn this late. Ghost Runner Cyberpunk. Um, I actually pre-ordered uh, both of those games. And uh, I do not pre-order games. So what curses did I give myself? It's very easy to get curses. New and more dangerous pilfers. So gold's gonna be uh, harder uh, to get. I, I'm I'm terrified right now. The six HP I get in every room is is worth absolutely nothing to me or anybody else. Ooh, the spider webs they hold enemies in place. Ace, 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 and probably me. It's another element. Oh, you, 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 you. I knew I didn't have one there. This is a puzzle of sorts. I don't know what that is, so we're not we're not gonna uh, fuck with it. Right now we're, we're approaching everything coward style. I think gold heals me now. So we're not going to see another freaking gold uh, uh, drop. On this room. We're not going to see one drop of further gold. Dude, you can heal all day if you want. These guys are scary. Let's talk to this guy. Get the fuck out of here. I think the gold thing would have been really good to get uh, super early. Dude, my burn rolls right now. What? Really? This, this fucking cauldron is bubbling out the most minuscule enemies I've ever seen in this particular game. I'm cursed now, I don't know. Did you just give me a new, different curse? That's what is a fucking... Uh, is that curse skull? What curse did it give me? 
level two. Feel some less damage, okay. I mean, that's not good. We got a couple of those bounding around right now. What the fuck's this? You can keep water with you. Um, I'm pretty sure every time I can't, I, I got my frame rate shit uh, up top. Whoa. I can't keep bombs and golds. Gold makes uh, health. Can't bring bombs with us into the far flung future. Dude, what are these psychopath helpers doing? Trying to engulf me in flames. So I, I do believe uh, this is farther than I made it before. But I don't know how much farther. And I also... I'm terrified. No! Oh, okay, that's fine. That was actually... Better than all the other times where it's popped up while I, like, accidentally exploded it. That's like, fuck you. Fuck you. Richard? Oh, okay. It's a, uh... I can strike projectiles to make them boomerang back. It's most likely not going to be useful even one time. I think Spelt's Larva is a lot more useful early on. Where the fuck am I? I'm, I'm hyper dead. That's where the fuck I am. Okay. Get that one out of there. I don't like that you can fly over fire. That's usually my thing in video games that I like to do. So I don't like it when you like to gain the same benefit. I'm trying to be uh, very, very calm and methodical here because I don't want to hit the fire. Or I don't want to hit the uh, oil and be stuck. Dude, he is fast. Oh, he's at maximum level. This is the boss. Who were these? Alright, yeah, you guys are cool to talk to me this way. I, I'm going to kill the two of you. What? Oh, what? Friends now. They healed me 100% to full. Holy fuck. And I'm dead from poison and fire. I'm back to where I was, at least. Man, I thought I couldn't hurt those guys. Because of their bubble shield. But well, that turns out not be the case. They just have a shit ton of HP and they don't hurt. Yeah. Oh shit! Irving or Toadvine or whichever one died. This is still going on. I'm dead. Mmm! That is a lot of money I lost. Uh, it's only 1500. Well, that was a good one. That's a new thing. Don't talk to them until you're ready. <laughs> damage or health. I think it's time to get health. Thirty-eight. Next one's gonna be ten grand, isn't it? Alright. Let's give ourselves a thing.
Well, that's a good one. I believe. Anyway, so we will be back as Naomi next time. Uh, let's get our shit together real quick. Quit the game. Get this working here. Oh, I've also been playing Doom Eternal again recently. Just out of nowhere. Doom Eternal is one of those, like, evergreen games, I think, for me. The Brinding of Brysic. All right, we'll see that next time. Goodbye.